It looks like we're all here. Well then, time for me to announce the results of the assessment process. I won't drone on about the importance of the Tianshu role. Suffice to say that Uncle Tian entrusted me with the monumentally important task of assessing the candidates. And now, it falls to me to give him a satisfactory answer. All of us here know the score. Don't beat around the bush, just get on with it. Qian Wei has many pioneering ideas. But some of his plans are lacking in detail, and he easily gets into testy exchanges with other people. Mingbo is reliable, but not quite ambitious enough, and because of his personality, he struggles to win people over. In contrast, Zhur Yi is evenly balanced across the board, and enjoys an excellent reputation in Liyue. After much consideration, I have decided to recommend Zhur Yi to the Liyue Qixing. Uh, what? Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Honestly, I'm a little surprised to hear my name being announced. In my estimation, all three of us are worthy candidates for the Tianshu position. As your competitor, I've become keenly aware of your great talents. Would either of you entertain the possibility of working with me in the future and taking on some of my workload? I'll have to see. Uh, I'm in a bad mood. This is the last thing I want to be thinking about right now. I don't mind. As long as I can help. Okay, well, that's all from me. Jur E, you'll have some preparation to do. It won't be long before you're informed of your official appointment. I hope you will work hard and make Uncle Tian proud. I will live up to the Tian Shu name. On this, you have my word. I should go. I need to pack my things, and then I think a celebratory meal is in order. Would anyone like to join me? Count me out. I'm not in the mood for a celebration. Jerry Yi seems pretty relaxed now. This would be a good time to follow him. Hey, Traveler, tell me something. What exactly does that guy have that I don't? If you can't answer that, I'm not accepting this result. I, uh... Also wouldn't mind knowing. Oh no, if we get stuck here, we won't be able to leave! Follow him. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> we finally got rid of them! Lady Yelan, jury has gone towards Feiyun Slope. Follow him, quickly. So Jiri really sided with the Fatui? But Uncle Tian thinks so highly of him. Why would he do this? Difficult to say, but everything should become a lot clearer when you find him. Useless! <laughs> Sorry, Lady Elon. We lost him. He's too good at this. We weren't able to keep following him without being seen. How the heck did he manage to shake Elon's subordinates? I guess Jiri didn't let his guard down. Still as vigilant as ever. No, Upe says he's much more relaxed than usual. 
Maybe it's just how he's wired. Perceptive enough to sense when he's being watched. What the hell? Don't blame yourselves. Let's not forget he was trained by Uncle Tian himself. Evading detection is not an unusual skill for him to have. If I'd asked you to tail Uncle Tian, you'd have ended up at a dead end too. It's fine. So, where did you lose him? Shinyue Kiosk. He only went in briefly. Upe and I were watching outside the whole time. A few moments later, a man dressed in a completely different outfit came out. Upe had a feeling that it was him, but we couldn't get close enough to check without blowing our cover. I figured that if we spooked him, it would undo what we've accomplished today so far. Another option would have been to arrest him there and then, but without any evidence, that would have been meaningless. So I stopped Upe, and I stayed here to wait for you while that meathead went to ask around in Shinue Kiosk. Good work. The fish didn't take the bait, but that's okay. As long as he's still swimming around, we'll find a way to catch him eventually. The key is figuring out what he's trying to achieve. Let's go to Shinue Kiosk. Could you explain to me how that works? A guy like him comes in, changes his whole outfit right under your nose, and you don't even ask him about it? Our customers are free to dress however they please. What grounds would I have to question him? <sighs> okay, fair enough, but didn't you think it was just a little bit strange? Well, maybe I did, but it still doesn't give me the right to stop him. Enough. Let's tone this down a little. I'll make this quick. Just one question. What did he buy while he was here? Oh, he didn't buy anything. He just picked up a bottle of liquor that he ordered ages ago. A bottle of liquor? Yes, a very strong kind. Fiery, with a rich flavor. Not something the average customer would order. This gentleman ordered it in person from us a long time ago. He was only here today to pick it up. Liquor... and wineware. I see. Let's go. Where to? Shigu Antiques. Hey, Miss Lin Long. Sorry to bother you. Jer E ordered a wanware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is with the quality, considering how affordable it was. So we just had to come and take a look for ourselves. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jer E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jer E picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just so you're aware, we don't have many of this model left in stock, and now that Mr. Jer E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry. Price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jur E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jur E bought... two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. 
Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yelon, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, there's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinyue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jur E isn't much of a drinker. On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. Now, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jur E's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status. Hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now where might we find Fatui who match that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnayan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yelan, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! So we just need to find out who Jury bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Jur E is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Jur E might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Jur E may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. If I'm guessing correctly, Fatui officials are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yensheng Tea House. Perfect timing. Wenyuan just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingxu Pool. Qingxu Pool? That's the place Jerry mentioned in his manifesto! It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice, I'll give them that. Qingxu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no! We gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. This is Qingxu Pool, full of ruins, crawling with monsters. Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. <laughs> Very 
There's been some work done on this place in the past, but it's a bit of a labyrinth inside. I can't guarantee we'll be safe once we're underground. The workers left an emergency access route. If we can find it, this will be a much easier journey. Still, be ready to fight at any moment. Any resistance needs to be taken out quickly and quietly. We don't want to attract too much attention. Don't worry, we're all professionals here! By the way, Yelan, where are your three little helpers at? They have other things to take care of first. We couldn't afford to wait for them, but they'll join us later. First point. Solidify. This is order. Boring! Useless! Take flight! <laughs> As I expected. But this shouldn't be too much trouble. Solidify. Come into be. Whirling snow. Order.
The waters flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on, bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. <coughs> oh, sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. Hmm. You'll get there. 
If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <coughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together when you were poisoning your teacher's soup. Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. <laughs> sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away at home for a few days because I was so scared of getting caught. Look, I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. But, oh, I have to say, you really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine, but you found a way to turn it into an imperceptible, slow-acting poison and came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. What was it you said? Uh, oh, yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. How did you think of that? It struck me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Did you hear that? It was poison! Tian hasn't been feeling well recently. It's all Juryi's doing. What a nasty guy. Seize him! Hold on. Did you bring a camera? If not, you can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Ah. <sighs> Excellent liquor. We've, uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. It's been a real headache for me. But soon, everything will be taken care of, and I can report back on a successful mission. Thank you, Juryi. Ah, <sighs> I remember when I first saw you. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey, do you still remember what I said to you? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner like me could never be seen as a serious candidate for the Tianshu, no matter how hard I work. The only way is for you to shine bright in the Tianshu's darkest moment. I think you were absolutely right. Yes. Under normal circumstances, the gap between you and other people could only ever grow wider over time. Just look at your two competitors. Chen Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. But you? You had nothing. You were just another nobody. And that's why I decided to help you. You know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Give a starving dog a bone, and it'll guard your home for the rest of its life. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for your generous support. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about you is that you do as you're told without complaining. Hey, keep up the good work, and I can assure you, you'll never have to worry about Mora again. Uh, heck, when you're not in the company of the Fatui, You'll be able to throw your weight around as much as you want. How about that? Uncle Gao said that Jur E has low self-esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time. So the Fatui persuaded him that he should act while he can. Do you have any more film in the camera? Then get ready to use it. Tonight's grand finale should be coming up any minute now. 
How well this goes for us depends on how Jur E plays his hand. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Hmm? Go on. Fill me up. I'm in a good mood today, and I'm gonna drink my fill. Hmm, make sure to get me home safely afterward. There's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, I can bring you some more next time. Oh, oh this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> what the? Sure, ye. You. You poisoned my wine? But. but when? You seem surprised, Mr. Yusupov. You. How could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. And in the end, I even had to poison my own teacher. You really think I'd put myself through all that just to become your little puppet? I don't want to bow down to anyone ever again. And that includes you. You imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Do you see the haystack in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff Forge. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives, the ruins will collapse, and everything will be buried. What? What do you hope to? I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Two missing person cases will become one as the truth gradually reveals itself. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruin-grade explosives. Their plan was to blow through the solid floor tiles in the dead of night and seize the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. Ah, but things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the Embassy won't investigate this any further. In fact, they'll be only too happy to blame it all on a rogue operation by you. It explains why you acted alone, while exonerating the rest of the Embassy of any liability. Of course, none of that will have anything to do with me. When all of this comes to my attention, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to cancel the Ching Shu Pool redevelopment plan immediately. I guess then, I'll be Tian Shu in my own right with a clean record and well out of the Fatui's reach. <laughs> Cherry, do you really think you're gonna get away with this? The Fatui has a record of everything. That includes the poison, all interactions between us, even my trip here tonight. After I die, they'll come looking, and they'll get to the bottom of this. A record? Oh, you must mean the one in the hands of your second-in-command, Theophon? What? How... how do you know about that? Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. I have Theophon to thank for providing me with the poison I used on you today. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. After all, your untimely demise comes with a few perks for him. He has been eyeing your position for a long time now. <sighs> that traitor! <coughs> Chiryi, you... Shh, 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 shh. Relax. It's over. After tonight, everyone gets what they want. And anyone else in the know is either my accomplice or about to be taken out of the picture. Sweet dreams. Mr. Yusupov.
I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time and have pictures of everything. They came out pretty nicely. Wanna see them? The game's up? Forgive me, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Miss Yelan. I happened to discover a Fatui operation here, so I approached them on the pretext of joining forces and eventually brought them down from within. If it pleases you, Miss Yelan, I'd be only too happy to have you join me in investigating this matter. This is how you want to play it, huh? Fine. You do you. All we need to do to convict you is establish that the poison in his system is the same as in Uncle Tien's. <sighs> hmm. Nothing else you wanted to add? Let's leave it there then. Time to go. One wrong move and it all comes crashing down. I should have been more careful. You followed him here, didn't you? I was so focused on keeping myself out of sight, I forgot he was a potential liability. Let's talk about this, Yelan. I gave you my word that I would live up to the Tianshu name, and that much I can still guarantee. <laughs> Your point being? When I take office, I can guarantee that I will act in your best interests. In fact, all of you here tonight can expect very generous treatment in the future. I don't deny that I used underhanded methods to get here. But given my lowly origins, what other choice did I have? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Even now. What do you think? Exactly. Jury. Clever people can always come up with a good excuse. But while you might be able to get other people to believe you, you'll never be able to deceive yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to win other people's respect, but when has Uncle Tian ever looked down on you? He was like a teacher and a father to you, but you chose to repay that by poisoning him. Whatever positive goal you may have started out with, you threw it away in that moment. That's enough. I... Of course. What makes this even crueler is that you managed to convince yourself there was no other way. Uncle Tien was always going to give you this opportunity. Even if you'd done nothing at all. Out of everyone in the world, he is the one who trusts you the most. So much that he drank your fish soup without doubting you, not for one second. That's enough. That's enough. Life is like fishing. It cannot be rushed. Whatever you do, impatience will accomplish nothing. I was just like you once, desperate to prove myself. Only later did I realize things do not always turn out the way you plan. But you have to keep calm to carry on. You're still young. Be patient, believe in yourself. And don't look outside yourself to prove your value. <coughs> Where's Jury these days? It's been a long time since he last paid me a visit. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> well, next time, if he doesn't bring a pot of piping hot fish soup, don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you were thinking about, you'll have plenty of time to mull it over in prison. Oh, I almost forgot. If the Fatui find out what happened today, prison might not turn out to be the safest place for you. Trying to have friends on both sides, it has a way of turning everyone against you. But right now, I have an opportunity for you. Huh? Sorry, things are about to get extremely busy for me. Let's meet at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow morning. I'll have someone remove the explosives. Then, there's someone I have to go and see. Need our help with that? No, it could be dangerous. You should leave this one to the professionals. Don't worry, as long as they're willing to cooperate, this'll be a straightforward deal. Get some rest. See you tomorrow.
There is now no poison left in his system, but recovery from the damage already done will not happen overnight. Dr. Baishu, is my father going to be... <sighs> you needn't worry too much. Keep taking the prescribed medicine every day, and a full recovery will take at most two to three years. It's good we caught it in time. A few days later and the toxin would have built up in the internal organs. At that point, things would have been much more serious. How did they successfully secure such a seldom seen poison? It seems the Fatui are extremely resourceful. Unfortunately for them, they were up against us. Uncle Tian will be heading off now. Remember to get plenty of rest and avoid overexerting yourself while you're recovering. Don't worry, I will. Thank you very much. Ah, you're here too? Thank you for all you've done to resolve this situation. I'll have to make some tea in a moment. You simply have to try it. Yes, the exhaustion seems to have gone. and My mind is steadily getting clear again. Luckily, it looks like choosing the Tian Shu's successor is suddenly not such a pressing issue after all. Hey, Yelan! My work is mostly wrapped up, so I thought I'd take a minute to check in here. The assessment process comes to an end here, Uncle Tian. In my opinion, Zhi Yi is not suitable for the position. But Chen Wei and Ming Guo both have potential. You have my gratitude. <sighs> People can change their loyalties easily. I've always known this. But whenever it happens, it's still a dismal experience. Is it just Paimon, or is Uncle Tian not that surprised? <laughs> Don't underestimate Uncle Tian. He wouldn't have appointed me as assessment officer if he hadn't had his doubts about Jur E. Normally, the Yuehai Pavilion would be responsible for assessing the candidates. Isn't that right, Uncle Tian? Yes, to be quite honest, I wanted to trust him unreservedly. I have to be responsible with the position of Tian Shu. When I first met Yuri, I wondered if he had approached me with a hidden agenda. So I secretly investigated him. I concluded that he had no ulterior motives whatsoever. He just saw me as an ordinary fishing friend. In the end, even he changed. But when did it start? I never had any plans to recommend him directly, but I always intended to give him the chance to compete on a level playing field. Family background and fame mean everything to many people, but I don't attach great importance to them. I had no reputation to speak of when I first became Tian Shu. I relied on Ganyu's assistance for all manner of things. <laughs> What I really admired about Jury was his intelligence and resilience. I have to admit, he's a smart guy, and very cautious. The intel suggests that the Fatui saw him as very low risk, but Jury was still extremely careful with the poisoning. He chose that specific liquor from Shinyue Kiosk because the fiery flavor would mask the bitterness of the poison, and he chose to wait until the Fatui official was drunk and had his guard down before delivering it to him. He also installed a secret compartment in the wine pot he bought, to hold the poison. As the amount of liquor went down, he'd shake the pot to release the poison from the compartment into the liquor. Afterwards, we also found he had an antidote on him. 
Had the Fatui official grown suspicious, Juri would have drunk the poisoned wine himself and then found an opportunity to take the antidote shortly afterwards. But that's still really dangerous. Yes. Had he drunk the poisonous wine, he still would have faced serious health consequences despite taking the antidote. He didn't hesitate to put himself in harm's way to achieve his goal. How is Jerry now? Well, I mean, he is sitting in a jail cell. Like Yenfei says, everyone who breaks the law has to pay the price. Still, he's cooperating. He didn't turn down my offer to strike a deal. I'll make sure there are plenty of guards around to keep him safe from anything the Fatui might be planning. A deal? Does this have to do with what you said to him when you arrested him? Yes, Juri's not the one I'm interested in. If he was as far as this went, I'd have handed the case off to my subordinates as soon as I realized. But once the Fatui became involved, things got a whole lot more interesting. I thought I might have the chance to catch a big fish. Well, did you? Almost. Unfortunately, it slipped off the hook at the last second. Uncle Tian? Yeon? What are you talking about? Paimon doesn't understand. Jur E colluded with the Fatui to try and secure the position of Tian Shu. Or, to put it the other way around, the Fatui made an attempt to interfere in the Tian Shu selection process. With Yusupov in our hands and a statement from Jur E, we could afford to continue with a diplomatic offensive. Also, we'd be able to gain control of Theophon, Yusupov's second in command. Then we'd have a pawn in the ranks of the Fatui. Pawns like this can be major assets. They open up all sorts of new options. <laughs> Why else did you think I was investing so much time and effort into this case? So, okay, well... Did your plan succeed? We got halfway. The first part went off without a hitch, and we passed all the information on to Lady Ningguang. But when we tried to make contact with Theophon, he was gone, along with all the evidence. Uh, the Fatui must be spying on us. Otherwise, they'd never been able to respond so quickly. I found out from other sources that the Harbinger, Regrater, got involved. The Fatui's main forces aren't concentrated here, Regrater was only treating this as a peripheral concern. It's a pity that Theophon got away, but knowing which Harbingers are still looking at Liyue is something. It gives me a starting point for my next mission. I have to ask, Yelan. Do you have any desire to take over the position of Tianshu yourself? I remember you showed some interest a few days ago at Yenshang Tea House. In my estimation, you are more than competent. Oh, that. <laughs> I was obviously joking. I prefer my current life. There's danger and there's excitement. Although it'd still be a behind-the-scenes role, as Tianshu, I wouldn't have the chance to get involved in anything truly clandestine or face any real danger. <sighs> All right, I'm done here. Time for me to go. I'm heading off again in a few days and I still have to prepare. Where are you off to this time? As you might have guessed, <laughs> it's for me to know and you to find out. But I'm sure if you keep going as you are, getting yourselves involved in other people's business all the time, you're sure to get caught up in another misadventure before too long. Maybe I'll see you the next time danger beckons. Until then, keep your wits about you. A lot of people are watching you for a lot of reasons. If you have any more questions, just ask Uncle Tian. After the recent turn of events... I'd say he owes you one, wouldn't you? <laughs>